Here's some good news for us today. Psalms 122.6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. Now, as believers, we are called to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Israel, consider the following. Number one, this is not a suggestion, rather an expectation, a commandment to pray for Israel. We would be wise to understand here that God is stating, not debating. Number two, God's command to pray for Israel is indicative that this is important to him. And if it's important to God, it should be important to us too. Number three, when we pray for Israel, we operate in obedience to God and his word, and God blesses obedience. Obadiah 115 states, as you have done unto Israel, it will be done to you. Is it possible that as we pray for the protection and blessing of Israel, we may also be recipients of his protection and blessings as well? This is good news to live by. Shalom.